It's a great pleasure today to be uh, in the presence of Professor Kiran Seth, a person who has uh, uh, put his entire life energy uh, in the service of Indian classical music and culture. I was a student at IIT Kharagpur and um, I remember my lovely professors there who taught me so much in physics chemistry, maths, etc, etc. But one person whom I remember a lot, who never taught me directly, but who planted a seed into me which is still growing into a massive tree. Our classical music and dance are beautiful forms, even folk forms. I'm not saying all these forms are very beautiful. The folk forms are very direct. You say straight you ask for Allahu, Allahu, or you say uh, uh, Rama, Krishna, or you whatever. But the classical forms, they bring in these two additional elements that are subtlety and abstraction. And therefore, they are little, little tougher in mm -hmm. some sense. Mm -hmm. But they both all have the same goal, different roads to the same, uh, same goal. Bhul jata khan paan, roop rang aan baan. You don't worry about the consequences, nothing. If you fall in love, and this love is slightly different from the one, it has got no, you know, after effects, negative after effects. Other loves can have that. But this one is like, you know, and if you do that, then you find that it just flows. You don't have to think too much. Uh, you don't have to say, look, I'm going to do this next or I'm going to do that. I've never thought, we never thought it's going to be like this, that we're going to be able to do 5,000 events in so many, about 500 towns in India, 50 abroad, you know, and still it's growing. So it's just something like, you know, you have experienced something so beautiful and you say, Radhika, Radhika, you must experience this. You come here. I just want you to just try it out. So like that Radhika says, okay, let me, and when she gets touched by it, she catches hold of two other people and says, look, you must try it out. And so this thing spreads like that from flame to flame. And if people, it does it very slowly, but it does it because you are touched so deeply that uh, then you, as I just mentioned, bhula jata khan apana, rupa ranga anaban. That's what it is. You see a classical musician, he or she will never move like this and then like that and then like that and then like that. No. You see, if you ever see any of these great musicians, they'll be sitting in one posture for hours on end. And what do you require? If you want to do well in any subject, the first thing you must requ you require is that you should be able to sit still. If you can sit still, you will find that you will be able to again concentrate. You, whenever you are moving, your concentration moves towards the movement. So you must, what this teeter teet with the arts does, it will teach you also how to be still, like that, focused. You can do whatever you are doing beautifully. More than a professor and teacher, what I have tried to do, and I request all pro professors and teachers to do, is not limit their roles just to be a teacher or a professor, but to take the role of a guru. What does a guru do? A guru says, look, I want to mold this child or this young person sitting in front of me, not just into a good, very good mathematician or a good engineer or a good media person or whatever, but I would like to see that that forms the ladder for him or her to become a fine human being, to become a person who is 
uh, touch some domains which will which will make the person really high up inside. So, that is the main aim. Because you believed in it and you wanted to continue no matter what. It is not just belief. Belief is one thing, but falling in love is something else. I am really telling you. Hmm. That's, you can believe in something. You might believe a lot in something, but when you fall in love, which is not unconditional in the sense not, you know, the type I am just talking about, then you are left, you just flow with it, that is it. So, it does not matter whether there are 5 people, 10 people. You see Ali Akbar Khan sahab, when he used to play, he was playing like this. He is on his trip. He is not looking at how many people are there in the audience. He is not saying, look, uh, you, you, he is on his trip. You want to come? Come. Trala, always tralalu. Bye bye. No problem. Like that. So, it is, but the passion is what um, drives the person. And when you see it, when somebody sees it, then he or she is also attracted to it. Mm. What, what is this thing that is making that person go like that? Mm. So, when the person comes and he or she experiences it, it goes like that. It is like a cascade sort of effect that happens. If you see um, films by Satyajit Ray and if you see films by Ritwik Ghatak, they have used a lot of classical music. If you see the Apu's trilogy uh, uh, of uh, Satyajit Ray, uh, the music director was R R Pandit Ravi Shankar and he has used uh, he, uh, it beautifully in, um, in um, uh, Jalchaghar. He has brought three great masters, one of dance, Roshan Kumari, and uh, Ustad Vilayat Khan sahab, whose music uh, does the music for it. And I think Wahid Hussain Khan, I forget the vocalist, one vocalist, top vocalist. What I am trying to point out is that they have used a lot of uh, classical music and also images of folk. But besides bringing classical music and dance, they can also bring in messages which are very powerful and direct. There is a direct meaning, they are subtle and but very lovely messages. So, um, all these great masterpieces, they just do not entertain, they are not for basically for entertainment, they are also for upliftment. It is another road which takes you right up there. If you see um, Igmar Bergman's Seventh Seal, I am not just talking of Indian films, you find that there is a the night is playing chess with death and what a beautiful sequences they are of how um, he is expressing his own confusion about what is the purpose of life. It is like a very philosophical question and he is asking death to give him a little more time till he can find that out. He says, I am not ready to go yet. In, in last strata, there is this girl who, uh, I think her name is Jelominia, I forget what the name is exactly, but she feels that she is useless, she cannot do anything. But there is this clown who's, who is talking to her and he picks up a pebble and he says, you know, I have learned that even this pebble has a purpose and that gives her added impetus to continue on with life in some sense. Akira Kurosawa, the great Japanese uh, director in Kagemusha again, um, he brings in this beautiful statement you know of this uh, warlord who says, the mountain never moves. And, um, very nice philosophical uh, statement. We must try to expose them to the indigenous uh, forms of music, dance, and that, but it should be of high quality. That is what I, I really insist on that. Because uh, we can take an uh, 
a very good, say for example, uh, even um, a classical Western violinist, we can take them to a school, we can take them to the college, no harm. So we could take the indigenous folk forms also, which are here, to schools and colleges. So that should be done. But the main thing is if you really want to succeed, as I mentioned, all these are just ladders to reach a goal. And if the ladder is weak, it will drop, you will fall. The ladder must be very, very, very strong. So whichever form you take, the form is not important to me. The person behind the form who is presenting is the real important person. And there must be people like that here in Puducherry. Take them, take them to schools and colleges. So the person will be, ident be able to identify with them very quickly. Uh, if, as I said, the ladder is strong. Yeah.